So today I'm going to continue with Uber Suggest and I'm going to look at the, the Backlinks tab on from the menu. And I'll start with Backlinks Overview. So again, uh, in the main part of, of the tool, you're on the right hand side, you just in, uh, put in your website and then decide whether it's domain or the exact URL and then click search. So I've done that and then it gives you all this information. So it gives you the domain authority, number of referring domains, and the number of backlinks, and then it also tells you how many of the backlinks are nofollow. So again, wherever there's a question mark, you can hover over it, and then it gives you an ex uh, explanation as to what, what you're looking at. So domain authority has this big explanation. So again, it's a, a score ranging from 0 to 100, so the higher the number, the greater authority or weight, I guess, the, um, or votes in some ways that this, this site has. The referring domains are the number of distinct websites that link back to the website it, that you've, you've selected. And then the number of backlinks are the actual number of links back to it. So maybe since there's only 61 referring domains and there's 138 backlinks, there's probably there's definitely some domains that are linking back to the site more than once. And then again, you can just hover over the question mark to get an explanation. And then so no follow means that the domain authority of that particular referring domain is not transferred to the site. So when it's a follow uh, link, then the domain authority of the site that's linking back to the website is transferred, or I think it's called link juice, is transferred to the original domain or the, the domain that's being referred to and if it's no follow then that value of that domain authority is not being transferred over. Then we have a nice graph sort of describing, well indicating when all these domain or backlinks are coming or and it looks like there was an increase as of, what is that, September 2021. A whole lot of backlinks and referring domains, so I have no idea what was going on at that time, but that's good. And then below that, there's another um, graph. And the green one, the green bars are a new, uh, a new referral domain. And then, I guess the pink is when a referring domain was lost. Okay. So that, that's kind of interesting to see what's been going on. And you can also use that to maybe compare it to maybe there was like a new blog post or something that was written on March 13th or something for which, ever, for which there's a new referring domain. And maybe something happened on March 12th for which for whatever reason someone decided not to refer back to the site. All right, then we scroll down. So now there's another chart that gives us a table that tells us a little bit about the uh, referring domains by do domain authority, DA. So the number of referring domains in different domain authority ranges. So obviously there's more um, lower domain authority sites referring back to the site. And I guess the idea is you you would like a higher uh, domain authority site to be backlinking or referring to your site or linking back to your site, but that's usually not the case. <laughs> it's usually the lower domain authorities that end up linking to your site. Um, but this this graph uh, gives you an idea of where or what the domain authority is of the domains that are referring back to you. And then on the right hand side it's, it gives you an idea of what the anchor text is. <laughs> so this is the text that when you click on it, it comes back, it refers back to your site. There's a lot of strange anchor text here. Okay, and then if we scroll down, so we have another, are there any questions so far? No. Okay. <laughs> then if we scroll down, backlinks, so now we have all the back, uh, backlinks, so we have, let's see, the source, so the actual page, and where and then target it's where uh, where the where the link is targeting on the given site and the NF means it's a non a no follow 
So at the top of the table has all the links and then you can click on follow and then it just shows you all the follow links. So all these links are passing their domain authority on. The no follow ones are ones where the domain authority is not being passed. Um, and then if you go through the table at the top we have domain authority and then you have page authority so those are not necessarily the same. And then there's this spam score. So this is interesting because it'd be nice not to have sites that are spam referring to your site or backlinking to your site. So it, again it's a range between 1 to 100 and higher scores mean that mean that there's a higher likelihood that the referring domain and page are spam. So you want things that are green, so less chance of it being spam. And then it, and then the next column it gives you an idea of what the anchor text is, tells you what it is. And then these last two columns, it the second last one is the first time it was seen. So the first time when our robots were able to identify this backlink, first time the backlink was noticed, and then the last time it was noticed. Right. And what else do we have? Nothing else. So, so how we can use this uh, table is from the no follow, I guess, list. We can have a look at some of these, I guess, domains or sources that are no follow, and we can look at their domain authority, like this first one, cooking dot stack exchange. And if possible, we want to try and change that to a follow link. So how would we do that? There's all kinds of ways and strategies, but that would be one thing to do with all this information is check all the no follows and see if it's possible to, if at all, to try and change some of those no follows to follow um, uh, backlinks. Um, and then from the follow, it's also having a look here and if there's some with a really high spam score, let me see if I can write it down. So it looks like the highest spam score is this 69 and it's from this strange source page by pan.xyz. I'm not sure what that is. But at that point, maybe looking at them and trying to get them, I think the term is disavowed. So you want to disconnect that, that bank, backlink. Mm -hmm. So I will leave that there for now. Are there any questions? No. Okay, so maybe next time we'll look at backlink opportunity and see how that works. Okay, great.